Hi everyone, so today we're going to take a short break from picking all of those padlocks and everything to uh, try to give a basic tutorial to someone, uh, to anyone who might be just starting out and not really know the, the basics of lock picking. So what we have here is a selection of three tools and a couple of demonstration locks. Uh, and we're going to go through them one by one and then uh, try to show you a little bit of the theory uh, and, and practice of this. So, the first two tools up here are tension tools. Uh, you have a flat one. This is probably the most common kind that you'll get in a uh, starter set. It's referred to as a edge of the keyway or bottom of the keyway tool. And what you do is you insert this little flange on the end here into the, the uh, part of the keyway furthest away from the pins. That's why it's the edge keyway, uh, the edge of the keyway tool. And then once you have it seated in there, uh, you just put very light pressure with your finger and you can see as I do that it causes the plug to move around and to turn. And that's uh, what you're going to be using to, uh, that's what actually allows you to move these pins around and get them to stay in place. Now the other tool is a, what's called a top of the keyway or a center of the keyway tool and what you do is uh, you take this little tab on the end and you're going to insert it into the keyway like that and again you can see as I put pressure on it it causes the plug to rotate and what's happening when you do that is that there are Two set, there are two sets of pins. One, you can just see through the keyway there, is called the key pin or the bottom pin, and that's what directly interacts with your key. So if you look at uh, any keys that you might have, like this one here, you can see all of these little cuts in it. And so the pins will drop into, into those, and if those are at the right height, they will push them so that the seam between those key pins and the top pins or driver pins which uh, are in here will line up uh, right at the seam or the shear line uh, between the plug and the Bible or the body of the lock. So here we have a cutaway and I'm just going to put this key in and you can see how the keys will move around as I slowly insert the key and you can see how there you can see uh, the key pin, which is closest to my finger, and then above the driver pin. And you can see they have that little seam right there. Now obviously they're not lined up, because that will stop the uh, plug from turning. But when you've got the correct key inserted completely, you'll see they've all lined up, and now I can turn the lock. Now the final tool that we're going to look at here is uh, the pick itself. Uh, this is just one of many, many, many different designs. This is a uh, medium hook with a flat tip. I find it just about the most useful tool, but there are half diamonds, there are uh, longer hooks, shorter hooks, there are uh, offsets, there are what's called a snowman or a, or a, a circle pick. And they all have their, their different uses, and some people like uh, certain designs more than others. But this is probably the most basic and the most essential, and it's what you're going to get in. You're going to at least get this and probably a half diamond, along with some rakes in just about any uh, starter set. And what you do is you insert this into an open part of the keyway, away from the pins, uh, with this tip facing uh, the pins themselves, and you're just going to move it up and down and lever it and try to push those pins around. So, just to, as a way of demonstrating, there I'm pushing up on the rightmost pin. And that's what you're doing. So, let's put these together with our tension. Again, you want to have the lightest tension possible usually, because what you're doing is you're exploiting uh, 
mismatches between these these holes or these shafts where the driver pins and springs are and the shafts that are cut in the plug itself to allow the key pins to move around and because of just very fine differences in uh, the machining and the mechanical tolerances of these things these pin stacks will bind up in generally one by one instead of all at once and that's really what we're exploiting to in fact pick the lock so I'm gonna put just a little bit of pressure on there and I'm going to put my pick in and I like to start at the back and move my way forward so what we're doing is we're gonna try to find which one is sticking that's which stack of pins uh, is getting caught in that mismatch and it looks like number five is the one that's sticking so I'm going to use the tip of my hook to push it up until it lines up and then I'm going to keep moving down the line trying to find now these are all moving pretty freely okay and this one sticks a bit so that's a bit of a freebie on this one and then we're gonna keep going okay there's number two is set and now number one is still moving pretty freely number three there we go and number one and now we can turn the lock and we have an open now again see how we've lined up each of these pins so that all of the driver pins and springs are in the top all the key pins are in the plug and that's what allows these to rotate I'm going to take this out and try to show you so you can see how all this works. Now normally you don't want to do this because it's actually going to cause most of these pins to try to drop into the lock, like right there, where it's getting stuck. But you can use either the flat side of a pick or your uh, tension tool when this happens and you just push it down the keyway there and push all of these pins up out of the way and you can keep turning a good way to avoid that is to use what's called a plug spinner which uses a very strong spring to spin this so quickly that the pins don't have a chance to drop in I'm going to try to turn it there so now you can see hopefully how all these pins are all the key pins are still in those little holes in the plug and all the top pins or drivers and springs are in the Bible which is this section and if I turn it back you'll see all of the drivers drop back in and now it's locked up tight again so uh, in the summary, I'm going to include a few links to some websites that have some more useful information, some helpful diagrams. I wish I could uh, do more, but I don't have any, any other cutaway or see-through locks, which are pretty useful for demonstrating the theory. Uh, also, probably toss in a recommendation for a book or two that I have found useful myself. So, to all the beginners, have fun, and uh, remember be ethical, and for everyone else, happy picking, and we'll resume normal service pretty soon. Bye.